This is session six of our Road to Quran Mastery series. Our journey with Quranic Med is coming to a close since we are now discussing the last topic related to Med. Today's topic is Med al or the Eased Med. Med al is strongly related to Temporary Med or Al Med Al Arid Lisukun. So in order to understand this lesson the best, you should check out session 5 before proceeding with this session if you haven't done that already. So let's get started. Eased med or med alin is often confused with temporary med or al med al arid lisukun. Why? Because it has the exact same rules with one single difference. So med lin only happens when you stop at a word and in that word a med letter came before the last letter. But the difference is with med alin is that the letter before the med letter must have fatha. And in this case, you may extend the med letter for two, four, or six harakat. And you would say, Inna yuridu Allahu li yudhiba rijisa ahl al bayt. And if you want to extend for four harakat, you would say, Inna ma yuridu Allahu li yudhiba rijisa ahl al bayt. And extending for six harakat is also possible, like so. And as we've learned last time, if you do not stop at the word, there will be no temporary sukun, and therefore, there will be no medlin or any type of med. Like in this example. Inna ma yuridu Allahu li yudhiba ankum rijisa ahl al bayti wa yutahhirakum tatahira. And the most famous surah to practice med alin is Surah Quraysh. Li'ila fi Quraysh. Finally, in session 5 with temporary med, we talked about that you should be consistent in your choices of the length of the med. And this time with med alin, it is the same story. So it is easiest to keep your temporary med and med alin the same length in your recitation. And in any case, med alin should never be extended more than temporary med in your recitation. So, if you extend al-mad al-arid lisukun for four harakat, you may only extend mad al for four or two harakat, but you should not extend it more than four harakat, otherwise it will be more than al-mad al-arid lisukun, and that is not correct. For example, in this ayah, we have both mad al-arid lisukun and mad al can you tell where they are in this ayah? Well, here in this word we have al mad al arid lisukun. Since we'll be stopping at the word, the ya is the letter before last, and before it there is kasra. And here in this word we have mad al Because we'll be stopping at the word, the ya is also before last, and the letter before it has fatha on top. So, when you read and stop at both of them, it is best to keep them the same length. For example, I'll keep them at four harakat. 
like so. بِيَدِكَ الْخَيْرِ إِنَّكَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ So mad, lean, could be shorter or the same as mad al-'ayrad al-sukun, but never longer than al-mad al-'ayrad al-sukun. So mad al-lean happens to a mad letter coming before last in a word you're stopping at. Not only that, but the letter before it has to have fatha on top. And when this happens, you may extend the mad letter for two, four, or six harakat. And the best practice is to keep mad al-lean the same as al-mad al-'arid sukun And now it's time for today's recitation. Today's recitation will be from the sixth juz from Surat Al Ma'ida. And as per usual, the mad lean that we'll be reading will be highlighted in a different color. And if we keep on reading, it will no longer be highlighted since there won't be any type of mad to extend. And moving towards the end of the recitation, mad al lean will no longer be highlighted so that you'll have the chance to apply the rules that you've learned today. يا أيها الذين آمنوا أوفوا بالعقود أحلت لكم بهيمة الأنعام إلا ما يتلى عليكم غير إلا ما يتلى عليكم غير محل الصيد غير محل الصيد وأنتم حرم إن الله يحكم ما يريد يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تحلوا شعائر الله ولا الشهر الحرام ولا الشهر الحرام ولا الهدي ولا القلائد ولا القلائد ولا آمين البيت ولا آمين البيت الحرام يبتغون فضلا من رب بهم ورضوانا وإذا حللتم فاصطادوا ولا يجرمنكم شنآن قوم ولا يجرمنكم شنآن قوم أنصد دوكم عن المسجد الحرام أن تعتدوا وتعاونوا على البر والتقوى ولا تعاونوا على الإثم والعدوان اتقوا الله إن الله شديد العقاب. And now it's time for the challenge questions of this episode. Today's questions are from the sixth juz. The first question. O oh people of the book, our messenger has come to you, clarifying for you much of what you kept hidden of the book. And overlooking much, a light from God has come to you, and a clear book. The second question. 
and we wrote for them in it a life for a life, an eye for an eye, a nose for a nose, an ear for an ear, a tooth for a tooth, and an equal wound for a wound. But whoever forgoes it charity, it will serve as atonement for him. Those who do not rule according to what God revealed are the evil doers. Were you able to find the corresponding ayahs in the sixth juz? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in session 7.